Hi everyone, this is Mike Brennan here at the National Hurricane Center. It's around 10, 15 a.m. Eastern time on Thursday, November 7th, coming on with the latest on Hurricane Rafael that is now located over the southeastern Gulf of Mexico. Uh, still seeing some lingering impacts from Rafael across portions of Cuba, where we still have some heavy rainfall ongoing, could still see two to four inches of rainfall there, exacerbating some of the flooding concerns, and also still seeing some rain and gusty winds across portions of the Florida Keys. We'll take a look at that in a moment. Right now, the center of Rafael is located just over 200 miles to the west of Key West, Florida. The data from the Air Force Reserve and NOAA Hurricane Hunter aircraft in the storm this morning uh, indicate that the maximum sustained winds have decreased a little bit down to about 100 miles per hour, but still a dangerous uh, hurricane here in the southwestern, uh, southeastern Gulf. The center of Rafael now moving to the west-northwest at about nine miles per hour. If we zoom in and look a, a little bit closer here in the Florida Keys, We've got uh, wind gusts, these red numbers here, still 25 to 35 miles per hour across much of the lower and middle keys this morning with uh, some isolated heavy rainfall uh, just to the east of Key West. And that rain band looks like it's going to continue to affect portions of the lower keys here for the next couple of hours at least. And again, there is some lingering heavy rainfall across portions of Cuba uh, near where uh, Rafael made landfall yesterday. Uh, but let's look ahead to the forecast now. We're expecting Rafael to move generally westward across the southern Gulf of Mexico for the next two to three days, and then expecting a more south of due west or southwestward motion to develop as we go from Saturday into Sunday, Monday, and even into Tuesday next week. Uh, the track forecast is still somewhat uncertain out here at the longer time ranges, and we could see a stall or a meandering motion. We could even see a little more of a motion toward the north, but uh, not expecting any direct threat to the northern Gulf Coast or any U.S. interests here from Texas over to Florida outside of the increasing risk of surf and rip currents that we're going to see, and I'll talk about that in a minute. But we do want interest here in the southern Gulf of Mexico, southwestern Gulf, to continue to monitor, especially the progress of Rafael as we go through the next several days. The good news also is the environment around Rafael is quite dry, and we are expecting gradual to steady weakening over the next several days, uh, with Rafael becoming a tropical storm uh, by the time we get to Saturday, and continuing to weaken as it moves toward generally toward the south or south-southwest across the southern Gulf of Mexico. Uh, again, the rain Rainfall forecast here for western Cuba, isolated two to four inches in some of those locations there. And then we'll just uh, wrap up here with a quick look at the surf and rip current risk. This is for today, Thursday. Everywhere you see in red here, much of the west coast of Florida, the Florida Panhandle has a high risk of uh, dangerous surf and rip currents. And if we move ahead to Friday, that high risk is going to expand westward uh, and include much of the lower Texas coast. So if you are going out to the beach, please uh, exercise ocean safety. Don't go into the water if it appears dangerous to do so. And if those red flags are flying, and please don't swim in areas that are not covered by lifeguards. So let's wrap up with the key messages here for Raphael on this Thursday morning. Uh, it's going to continue to bring some periods of heavy rainfall to western Cuba today with some flash flooding and mudslides possible. Also some lingering effects in portions of the middle and lower Florida Keys. Raphael's forecast to move slowly over the south central Gulf of Mexico this weekend and early next week and interest in the southern and southwestern Gulf should continue to monitor its progress. So you can always come back here to hurricanes.gov for the latest on Raphael throughout the next several days. For those of you in the United States, you can get the latest information from your local National Weather Service office at weather.gov. Thanks for joining us. I'm Mike Brennan at the National Hurricane Center.